So today's Saturday. I wasn't planning on filming today. I've got a lot to do to get ready for Office Max next week, next Saturday, a week from today. I'll be buying them out. Um, got a call from Shopco. They have a store closing tomorrow, which is Mother's Day, and um, they don't have an end buyer. So I sent them a crazy low ball number and they took it. Two cents on the dollar. 98% off. I'm buying out a store tomorrow. Fun. Was not expecting this. Uh, so I guess in a week's time I'm buying out a Shopco and an Office Max. And um, the main reason I'm doing it, it's mostly crap in there. It's mostly clothing and vitamins. The main reason I'm doing it is because I am, uh, I want to get in good because if I have solved this problem for, for them, they are likely to let a lower offer slide for the other two stores left in town here, um, which is late next month when I'll actually have time. So, uh, really don't want to do it, but don't really have much of a choice here. I texted my, uh, someone who works for me to see if I can pull him in for overtime. And I said, so, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? And he says, ignoring your texts. I think he knew it was coming. So, got confirmation from Nolan. He is willing to work Mother's Day. Meaning, uh, he is going to have a very upset mother and girlfriend. But he is getting time and a half for it, so that's going to be expensive for me. Um, especially since I'm giving him overtime next Saturday for Office Max. Fun stuff. So this is what he told me is the plan. And I can say this, I'm not allowed to tell anyone this yet. But since this video actually isn't going to be published until after the store is closed, I can say this. Uh, tomorrow, their last day, he said he's going to open up the store at 90% off across the board. Right now, most items are at 80. They still have some at 70. Uh, but most items are at 80. They're gonna open up across the board tomorrow at 90% off, and he says sometime midday, he expects to drop to 95% off, but he's only been the liquidator for five days so far, so he has no idea how that store does on weekends, let alone Mother's Day, so it could be pretty empty. I guess the, the former liquidator had to go back home. Usually liquidators are sent in from out of state, so um, he's only been here for five days. The store's pretty full right now, but it's a lot of vitamins and a lot of clothing, not much decent stuff. I don't think a lot that's gonna be able to go on Amazon or eBay. Although I might do all right with the vitamins. That could be okay. Uh, the clothing, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Look at all of that clothing. So anyways, uh, he also said he has got a big bulk buyer that's gonna come in, I think he said tonight, who he expects to buy out a lot of the store. My guess is it's gotta be an Amazon seller or something. I'm not sure. But um, someone's coming in to buy out a lot of the store, and he has no idea what it's going to be. It's going to be across the board. So I have no idea what to expect, but uh, I'll take you along with me. Okay, so this just got interesting. <laughs> oh, this is going to either be the end of my business or I'm going to make a ton of money. So there is another shop co next town over, about 30 miles away, that's closing next weekend. You know, the same weekend as Office Depot, which again, I've already committed to. Uh, still working out the details on it, but this could work out really well. The logistics are gonna be difficult and it's a big gamble. I mean, at 2% at of retail, I really can't expect to be spending much, one to $2,000. I think this is a no-brainer. Uh, it's a risk, but I think it's a no-brainer. What is going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I am at Shopco. It is their final day. It is Sunday. It is Mother's Day. They just opened a couple minutes ago. Um, we're anticipating they'll close around 6 p.m. And I'm buying it out. I'm getting every last bit of remaining inventory at 2% of retail. That's 98% off. I'm excited to see what's left. I was here yesterday. And yesterday is when I found out that I'm getting this store. Which makes it difficult because I'm doing an office max in seven days. Next Saturday. It worries me that there's a truck and a trailer here. Maybe I'm lucky and they're just doing fixtures. <laughs> All right, so that trailer that I showed you coming in is an Amazon seller who cleared out a lot of the store. Stores for getting pretty empty and it's mostly apparel, which I do not like. So I'm in the mall. They're not open yet. It's like a ghost town in here. It's like last man on earth. Um, anyways, I came in here to stop by Payless 
to get some details on buying them out as well. Uh, they close soon. Uh, but weirdly, they don't have a liquidator there on site, which seems odd. But um, the store looks pretty full. So I am curious to see what kind of deal we can work. This, thankfully, is going to be a little ways out. It's after Office Depot and Shopco's are done, or at least the two I'm doing. Now I'm walking into Shopco, which is the highest performing Shopco in the country. So just kind of looking around, it's still a pretty full store, but we've got, they just pushed it back another week on this one. It's gonna be like the end of June. So don't know what to expect here. All right, got the truck, trailers loaded, ready to go. We got a whole bunch of boxes in there. I'm ready, it's 2.03, so I'm gonna get there and just start filling up carts and clear out the store. So we are good to go, it's four o'clock, almost four. They just locked the doors. I am getting the truck, pulling it up. I don't know, it's just not a lot of stuff in there, but we'll see. They have a cart in right behind the registers full of mismatched shoes. Apparently there's an amputee stealing, um, but they said I could just have it. So I'm gonna go through them and see if I can maybe make some pairs. I don't expect to get much for them. And a lot of them are probably just gonna end up in the dumpster. They are turning down a lot of people. They, uh, one of the liquidators is basically standing by the door, stopping people from coming in. So this is everything. We got some jewelry, whole bunch of makeup. Obviously some of these are gonna be open and just thrown out. We got some Easter. We've got just a whole bunch of smalls. See, so the thing about being an end buyer, you have to buy stuff like this. Although if it's still sealed inside, I might eat that. We got some printer ink. Oh, a year out, but still sellable. I think I could do something with these. And then a whole bunch of clothing about to go through the register. We've got some air filters, a whole bunch of those. And then a whole bunch of phone cases. Survivor, isn't that a good brand? I don't remember. But uh, phone cases really aren't worth much. Maybe I can find a use for them. A little watch that's missing the back. And that's basically it for this store. So apparently I'm some corporate guy. A friend of mine said uh, to me, they told me I couldn't come into Shopco because some corporate guy bought it out. Was that you? Well, I guess so. All emptied out. The final transaction to the store was ever. Last transaction going through the store was like five and some change. All right, so here's what we got. I got this. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to sell it. It's a big Packers display. Uh, it's cardboard though, so maybe not. Uh, this bin, kind of nice. I think I might use it for warehouse sales. A whole bunch of these filters. Uh, don't know. If one of these fit my furnace, I might grab them because I don't know if I'll be able to get much for them. A ton of makeup. This stupid frame. And then all of these shoes. There are supposedly, these are just like one-off shoes. Like these, two different sizes. These are all the one-off shoes. They just gave me these because they were going to throw them in the dumpster. So I'm going to see if I can make some pairs out of them. I got some semi-truck wheel chucks. Uh, these I'm actually going to use. Kind of cool, I got their, oh, it's on the other side. Their bins, their return bins. So I got all this stuff. Oh, that's not everything. That's right, there's all of this too. Uh, I ended up grabbing some clothes racks because I'm gonna blow out a lot of this in a warehouse sale. So rather than taking hangers off and rehanging them and everything, I'm just leaving them right on the hangers. We just wheeled these right on the trailer. All of these clothes, there's a couple of Packers ones. Unfortunately, they're former Packers. All of these boxes filled with the hard goods. I've probably got five or six of these filled to the brim with cosmetics. And then all of these clothes as well. So I'm excited to see what I can get for it. I already looked some of these up on Amazon. Some of these pants are selling. I get about 20 bucks after fees. So I'm gonna do all right with those. 
Got some Brett Favre Wranglers. So a lot of neat stuff. This one's all dusty. It must have fallen on the floor at some point. As I was going through the whole checkout process, they kept bringing more stuff out, like armfuls of clothing and whatnot. Evidently, at one point, they had a bad employee who didn't want to do his job, so he would hide inventory in different places. That way, he um, you know, didn't have to do his job. And they kept finding that, so that's kind of cool. Clothing and items that just didn't even go through the liquidation. They also told me they found underneath one of the shelves a comic book from 1994. It's currently 2019, so that's what, 25 years ago. It's been under that shelf for 25 years. So that was kind of neat. Uh, so let me add up all of these receipts and I will see what the total is. Each of these receipts are like 10, 15 feet long. So here are the totals. I had to do this in 11 transactions, uh, partially because the system could only hold, take so many sales. And also they had three registers going. Uh, so this is how much I paid. This was according to the receipt, my savings. Add the two together, you have the total retail. So I get $26,757 worth of stuff for 547. Now I'm under no illusions that I'm gonna get anywhere near that. I'm expecting I'll probably get about five grand for it all, somewhere between five and 10,000 selling it all off. Uh, but I mean, to spend 547 on that, that is insanely cheap. There wasn't a lot in the store. I was actually estimating about half that. I was estimating about 50,000, somewhere between 40 and 60 was my guess. So I kind of averaged that out at 50. Um, quite a bit less than I thought, about half. But I still think I'm gonna do pretty well with it. I'm amazed at how much that store cleared out in the last 24 hours. All of these are the mismatched shoes. I kind of organized them kind of by color. Uh, also in the box, there were two empty shoe boxes here. And uh, for some reason, a bunch of thermal labels like for uh, price tags. So I don't know, maybe I'll be able to sell these. You know, there's a lot of labels in there. Maybe I can get 20 bucks for it. Not one matching pair. I was hopeful on these, but it's a size 10 and a size 11. And oh yeah, they're also the same side. They're both left shoes. Uh, we've also got these two. But these you can tell right off the bat, they're different sizes. So nothing, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I know you can sell some of these as a single shoe for like amputees or people with two different size feet, but I don't really want to do that because it's a lot of listing for things that are going to sit forever. But I did get them for free, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Any, any ideas? They are all brand new, so my thought is uh, maybe I'll just throw them in a local auction. One big lot, see if someone will throw up like five bucks or something. So you might be wondering, why would there be so many single shoes? Is there, is there like a, a gang of amputees coming in and robbing the store? No, there were a couple of reasons why. Uh, number one, you've got people who have two different size feet. Apparently a lot of people, like a large percentage of the population has two different size feet, uh, who will come in, take a seven and a seven and a half, put them in the same box and buy them. Uh, and then they're left with two mismatches. You might also see one gets misplaced or lost and uh, they, so they have the extra, well, they'll send it back to the vendor and then they find it later. You're gonna see a lot of situations like that. You never know, maybe someone's stealing a single shoe and hoping that the other one gets tossed in the dumpster after the store closes. I don't know. There were some matches in there though, and I know that because, well, first off, they just left the bins out for customers to dig through and try and find them. But even after all that, the liquidator dug through them a little bit and he found one matching pair. I don't know if I ended up buying it or not because the store was still open at that point. So I'm going home because I'm tired. It's what, like eight o'clock? By the way, the whole checkout process was almost exactly three hours. It was like two hours and 43 minutes. Uh, it's 8.30 now, I'm calling it a day. But the next part of this video, you're gonna see all the stuff. I'm gonna go through it all so you can see what all I got. One more thing, they forgot to take the security tag off this one item. I looked through all the other clothes on the racks and no other ones had security tags on them. I did send the liquidator a text and he said he'll be there tomorrow vacating the store. So he's gonna hold on to one of the tag removers for me so he can remove that. Uh, worth note, I asked if I could either have or purchase one just in case some get missed and they would not sell them or give them to me. They had to be thrown in the trash compactor. I know you can buy these online, but for one item it's not worth it. It's very possible there is some clothes in these bins, not much. It's mostly uh, hoisery 
the uh, a lot of ladies' panties and bras in there. Not a lot, but maybe 20 or 30 pairs. And then some of the other stuff that was found after we finished the clothing. There's maybe 50 or 60 items that are clothing in there, so I don't expect these to be on them because they went through all these and only missed one. But uh, I'm not at a huge loss if one gets missed. Not to mention, I will be seeing this liquidator again in six weeks on uh, the next wave of stores. So uh, they can always get removed there. Actually, now that I think about it, he's going to be at stores that are operating for the next six weeks. If I found one, I could just bring it in any time, and I'm sure they'd be happy to remove it for me. They would probably want to make sure to talk to him first because he knows me. But So I'm grabbing this, and then I'm calling it a night. So I'm currently starting to go through this stuff, and I found this in with it all. The date, 1994. It actually smells a little funky. Um, I remember this. Someone brought it to me, an employee, he found it. Uh, I thought he smelled funky. This thing smells like B.O. Likely, floor wax and God knows what else went under the shelves. That's why I'm assuming he found it. Oh, God, I hate this. It smells like B.O. So, the only logical thing to do with it. So, most of these clothes are going to go in the dollar sale. But this row of pants are all decent on Amazon. It's YouTube! They say, hey, I'm not editing this out, by the way. What? I'm not going to edit this out. <laughs> so, these clothes are Amazon. These are the same brand, this uh, Gloria Vanderbilt. They seem to do really well on Amazon. These ones don't have listings, so I'm going to put these on eBay. I, I'm seeing, on average, about $20 to $25 each, somewhere in the $35 some are in the 15 and that is after fees. So I expect about, I've got 15 pairs here. I expect about 300 on just these on Amazon and they should sell pretty quick. So I've got the jeans ready to go here. Let me show you a close up of how nice these look. Customer will be very thrilled with this. Uh, these are these Gloria Vanderbilts, MSRP of 44 to 45. 15 pairs after all said and done 302 dollars i did not put the buy costs in because i'm not going to sit here and do a bunch of math and i don't do my accounting in this software so 302 dollars and 30 cents so just the jeans i'm getting two-thirds of the money back and it looks like they should sell pretty quick all of this is going to be sold on amazon um these should be decent i didn't look at a lot of this stuff some of these are like eight bucks or so after fees uh this was i think six after fees this one, I might still have this one up here. Uh, let me check. This one, five bucks after fees. Well, seven because the difference between Amazon and uh, the other ones. These are good. These are 20 after fees. I've got five of them, so that's a hundred bucks. The more of these filters. So I already have a plan to get another shop going next Sunday and Office Depot on Saturday. Those are set in stone. Got a phone call today from the liquidator from Jimboree and Crazy Eight when I did them a month or two ago. Apparently, she's got two Shopco stores on uh, the Milwaukee and was uh, right in between Milwaukee and Chicago area. Also closing on Sunday, so I, it's not set in stone yet, but it's looking like I'm gonna have an Office Depot and three Shopcos this weekend. This could be a busy weekend. So in addition to those Amazon items, these actually have to go to eBay because for some reason they classify them as a pesticide, so I can't sell them. Uh, I've got these shoes, some Keds, I don't know, $44.99, I could probably get like 30 bucks out of them on eBay. Uh, these were doing ha pretty decent. I think I can get about 15 bucks for a two pack. Oh, these are actually two different things. Uh, no, same it's UPC, so just slightly different size boxes. Uh, so I think I can get about 15 bucks for that. I think I can get between 10 and 15 for this based on comps. Uh, this as well. It's mostly lower dollar stuff. This one's about 25 if I remember right on eBay. Either way, I set it aside for eBay. And then that's going on eBay. Everything else is going to be sold in a warehouse sale. We've got all of these clothes already hung up on racks, ready to go. This is what's left of the boxes. Uh, all of these clothes as well. Here we've got some seasonal stuff. Um, we're going to try to move them in the warehouse sale, but I don't expect to get much for Easter stuff. Uh, I will sit on them until next Easter if I have to. They don't take up much space. This is all hardware. So we've got you know a lot of this type of stuff, and then an absolute ton of these. Yeah, they're 
packaged so poorly. Uh, we're gonna try and move that stuff. I forgot what's in this box. Oh, more of those bunnies. And these guys are heavy. These things have some weight to them. This is all bath, bedding, linens, things like that. Uh, a lot of these napkins. Uh, the box underneath it is the same thing. Bath, bedding, linens, and whatnot. This is all jewelry. We've got a whole bunch of it in here. We've got some up here. And underneath that is phone cases. A ton of them. These are also full of phone cases. They're for current phones. Uh, the iPhone X, the iPhone XS Max, I think. I think I can move them. This is all office supplies. We've got tape, whoops, some printer ink, some school supplies. There's also some of this phone stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'll get much for that, but we've got a little bit of Valentine's Day. Same plan with the Easter. There's some HBA here. Uh, a lot of this is Shopco brand. And down here is a whole box full of HBA as well. A lot of this stuff I think will do pretty well. Uh, this is a box full of these, and I don't even know if I'll be able to sell them. Uh, worst case, I might have to sell the whole box for a buck. But look at that, $2.49. That would be, hold on, about five cents I paid for each of these, so I'm not too worried. Uh, more phone cases. This is just general merchandise. There's a little bit of Christmas in here, uh, but it's mostly just general stuff that we're gonna be selling in the warehouse sale. Here's another box, uh, just stuff. Uh, there's some Christmas garlands. These I'm not thrilled about. It's all got people, got names on them, uh, but I only paid, I think that's what, six cents or so per, so I'm not too worried about that. This is all of the clothes with no tags. It's mostly socks uh, with a couple of other things. I've got some belts down there. A whole bunch of shoes up here, uh, just all different ones. I think these are mostly Payless brand shoes. And then these came from the liquidator. Here's some clothing that uh, I didn't have on hangers. Some of it's nice stuff. Evidently, the uh, store had an employee who, instead of doing his job and putting stuff out, he would hide it in different places in the building. So a lot of this clothing didn't even go through the liquidation. This is a pretty nice shirt, that's gonna do well. And here's uh, undergarments, a whole box full of them. These I'm excited about, these batteries, I'm keeping them because my security cameras use these. Uh, I just bought a whole bunch of them actually, so they are going to be kept for that. I may have a buyer on these batteries. I've got 89 of that one and then a couple other ones all listed here. Not going for a lot online, but I do have a jewelry store interested in buying them. Uh, these planners are going to be no good in like two weeks. Oh no, this one goes to July, so we got a whole month on it. All the other ones go to June of 2019. And then a stack of CDs with a couple of movies. And that is based, oh no, there's more over here. Hold on. So I showed you the wheel chucks, I think, and then this display here. Uh, here is a whole bunch of these filters. So I don't know, there's not really a market on eBay for them. I'm gonna see if our furnace needs them. Otherwise they're gonna get sold in the warehouse sale as well as a bunch of posters and a shower curtain rod. Uh, there was two shipping envelopes and a shipping box. I will definitely use those. And here's another curtain rod. Now here's the more expensive part. This is where most of the money went. All of these boxes are filled with cosmetics. And unfortunately, you know how these liquidations go. I just pulled out a nice clean one. A lot of these are all dirty from leaking ones. A lot of the lipsticks especially were used, people trying them out. So I had a bit of a change of plans here, so I wanted to do a voiceover explaining it. What I've been doing is selling these in lots of a hundred uh, in bulk for a hundred dollars each. I have about 1,500 pieces in here, so that's like 1,500 bucks for everything. Five boxes full of cosmetics. Now one thing about being an end buyer is you have to buy everything, every last item. There are items here that I will lose money on, uh, like these, for example, at six cents each. I'm not gonna be able to really sell these. I'm gonna try to sell them as a big bulk lot, but especially here, these, $6.39, so I paid, uh, what's that, 12 cents each? I think I did that right. 
but they have 2018 on them, uh, you know, Christmas ornaments. I'm probably taking a loss on those. A lot of the phone cases too, probably taking a loss on those, but I'm making so much on other things. I spent 80 cents per pair on those jeans and I'm getting $20 each. Uh, you know, here, here's another great example. Well, I'll show you this box in a minute, but this is sterling silver earrings, $60 originally. So that would mean I paid a dollar and 20 cents for sterling earrings. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So you, you, you have to look at it as a whole. You're gonna lose money on some, you're gonna make money on others, but you have to buy literally everything. Example, this is some stuff. I already threw a bunch of stuff in the trash here. But here's some stuff that I was holding to show you. These picture frames, they're broken, and I had to buy them. Uh, 20 bucks, that would be, what, 40 cents? No, yeah, I did that, right? 40 cents I paid for that. Sunglasses, missing lenses, broken watches. Although these don't have price, oh, that one has one. So 30, so I paid 60 cents. I think I'm doing that right. 30 is 60 cents, yeah. Uh, you know, this is just gonna be trash. I'm just throwing all this away because it's missing parts. It's a bummer, but there's not much you can do about it. You have to buy everything. You can't pick and choose. So you have to consider that when you're an end buyer. I, I even had items that I threw away in the store. I had a trash cart. I, you don't need to take everything with you. You just have to buy it. So there was like bent up poster board and stuff like that. As soon as they scanned it, I put it right in the trash. You gotta buy everything, but you're getting it so cheap. I got $27,000, if I remember right, 27 grand in merchandise for like 550, somewhere in that range. Whatever numbers I told you earlier in the video, those were the numbers. I'm going off of memory right now. The plan is I've got all of this Shopco stuff. I've got three more Shopcos that I'm buying out this week, at least. I mean, <laughs> I thought there was just gonna be the one in De Pere, then it turned into two, and now it's turning into four. Uh, but as of now, three more shop goes that I'm buying out. I've got an Office Depot that I'm buying out. It is a busy week. I also have $200,000 worth of Target clothing sitting here in the warehouse that I've been sitting on since December, I think. All of this is Target clothing and shoes, all brand new with tags, 200 grand worth. If you haven't seen the video, I paid 50 cents each. It was like 10,400. With shipping, it was around six grand. I paid six grand for all of it. It was all summer stuff. I'm happy to sit on it for that kind of margin. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a big warehouse sale selling so much of it off. We're going to look like a retail store. I've got a ton of clothes racks and fixtures that we're going to use. I've got tables. I've got shelving. Uh, and we're just going to blow this out. And I'm hoping I have a goal. My goal is to bring in $10,000. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. But when I sell garbage out of storage units for a buck, I'm, I bring in three grand. I'm gonna be selling quality stuff, all brand new clothing, and I'm gonna be selling at one, two, three, four, and five dollars. Uh, and I'm gonna start marketing this now, like weeks in advance. I'm hoping to bring in 10 grand with all this, and I think it's doable. I mean, look at all these clothes. All of these, I'm gonna put at two bucks, two to three dollars each. Uh, the jeans, well, these are going to eBay. Oh, I think I forgot to mention that these are, this is the same brand that was good on Amazon, but they don't have listings. So I'm sending all of these to eBay. But there's other jeans there. There's some pants here. Some, so all of this is going to be between two and probably between two and four dollars, maybe even five each. Uh, these undergarments, what's retail on them? Does it say $7.99? So I'll probably put these at a buck. Uh, but there's some other ones. These ones over here are 12, so I'll probably put those at two or three. Plus all the small stuff, plus over 10,000 pieces of clothing. I've been trickling some of them. I listed a few hundred of them on eBay, and I've been selling them pretty well. I probably made five, 600 bucks on them so far. Uh, so it doesn't take much to be in the profit on that. But we're gonna be moving a lot of this stuff. Shoes are gonna be in the $5 range. Uh, clothing is going to be three, two to two to five. Kids' clothing is going to be that one to two range, like baby stuff. Um, and then we've got all of Office Depot. Um, I sent someone there to scout it out today, and it's still pretty full. We're going to have a lot of stuff. We also have Payless Shoes, which I'm working on trying to buy out. I finally got the liquidator's contact info. Each liquidator is getting 50 stores at a time, so they're busy. So anyways, uh, that could be a lot more shoes too. So my goal is $10,000.
in this sale and I'm still gonna have a ton left over and then we'll be doing another sale in about six weeks after the last wave of Shopco's close um, pending how, how well this one does I think it's gonna do well I'm gonna be selling stuff for I would say an average of three bucks so that's triple the price of the sales where I sell garbage and um, like seriously junk I sell and I'll make three grand good stuff like this triple the price I'm hoping for 10. A boy can dream, but I'll definitely keep you updated on that. Uh, but that is this Shopco. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got nothing really else to talk about. I kind of went through it all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, get ready because like I said, I'm buying several more Shopcos and an Office Depot and maybe a Payless Shoes. So there are gonna be more videos there, but the rest of this channel is exciting. I'm buying stuff at garage sales, thrift stores, retail stores, store buyouts, selling it on eBay, selling it on Amazon, local auctions. I buy delinquent storage units. I do a lot and I do it all out of my building here, 7,000 square foot warehouse that I rent. Some fun videos. I show you what to sell, how to sell it, where to find it. So as I'm done selling my channel. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.